Hi, welcome to Premium Beat. My name is Rubidium. There are lots of reasons why you would want to remove a logo from your video footage. You can't have logos of any sort present in stock footage. So if you're shooting stock footage, you'll need to either avoid logos or remove them in the way that we're going to look at today. If you're shooting your own films, you should also avoid or remove logos because it will make it very difficult to get E&O insurance and sell your film to a distributor. The reason is that brands spend billions of dollars a year creating a positive image around their logo and trademark. And if you put your serial killer in a brand name, that brand is going to, at best case, object and worst case, sue you. Trademarks and logos are internationally protected, so they can't be reproduced without permission of the trademark holder. If you really want to use a logo, then you should probably talk to a copyright lawyer. But with what I'm going to show you today, it is almost always easier just to remove the logo and move on with the making a film. Let's jump in. So here we are in After Effects and we have a clip of me talking with this uh, logo on my shirt. I can't use a real logo for the same reason that uh, you need to remove logos from your clips and that is uh, potential litigation from the person who has trademarked that logo. So I'm going to put my, uh, I've imported my remove plate and I've put it in a uh, new timeline. I'm going to double click on it, which sends me to the actual layer of the clip and not the timeline. And then I'm going to say uh, track motion. That gives me a track point. I'm going to open it up a little bit. I'm going to bring it over and put it on the inner corner of my logo and make sure I'm in the first frame. I'm going to analyze forward and make sure that it's tracking the logo as it goes. It's like an eight second clip. Now what I'm going to do is go up to layer, new, null object, a null object, and I'm going to hide that is just what it sounds like. It's a nothing object that you use to hold the tracking data until we can have something that we can apply it to. So back in my clip here, I want to edit the target. It presupposes that you're going to send your motion tracking to null one. I'm going to hit OK. So then I go and click apply. It asks me if I want to apply both the X and Y and I say yes. Now, if I click my, if I um, go over here to the remove plate and remove my tracking data, you'll see that the null object, this little red square, this one here, is now attached to the logo and is tracking as I move. For now, I'm going to turn the null layer off, the visibility off. I'm going to go back to my first frame. I'm going to go up to Composition, Save Frame As, File. Then I'm going to click on my output, select where I want to put it. I'm call it Clean Plate. Hit Save. Hit Render. Renders pretty quickly. <laughs> go across to Photoshop. Open that same layer in Photoshop. I'll zoom in on the logo. I'll grab my marquee tool. I'll go just around the outside of the logo. Then I'll hit Shift F5, or I can go up to I can go up to Fill, and then make sure that this is Content Aware Fill. Hit OK, and just like that, my logo has disappeared. If I wanted to, I can um, just clean it up again with the uh, stamp tool, making sure that the logo is gone. Zoom back out. That looks pretty good. I'll hit, uh, I'll go up and say save. Now I can go back to After Effects, input my clean plate. I'll ignore or just have it straight unmatted. I'll place my clean plate between the remove plate and the null. Now, the way I like to do this is go here and turn down my opacity. So you can see, you can start to see the logo behind. And I'll go up here to my pen tool and I'll just draw a mask around the tool, the uh, logo. Now, when I turn this back up, this is the only part that's selected, but it's at the moment, it's not following the logo around. 
So then what I'll do is I'll grab this little circle here and drag that up to null one. That parent and links the clean plate to the null, which inherited the tracking data from the layer. So now you'll see as this moves around, now the clean plate is attracted. So still a little bit of an edge. If I look really closely, I can see where the edge is. So going into my clean plate mask, I'm gonna feather the edge by about 20 pixels. And if the logo is seen, I can then go in and do some mask expansion by 15 pixels. So clicking off my mask and my plume plate again. Now we have a t-shirt that moves around with the uh, clean plate and a final clip um, that has no logo. Looks pretty good. So that was how to remove a logo in After Effects and Premiere. After Effects does have its own content aware fill within the program, but it is very processor intensive and it's constantly calculating and recalculating what that space should be. So it's, I found it far easier to do the content aware fill in Photoshop as a still, and then re-import that back into After Effects where you have a lot more control. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.